Hey Fordham basketball fans, the season has finally returned. Tonight the Rams play against Texas State and it should be a great contest. But that game and other games are going to be exciting because I'm going to break down the non-conference schedule. I've got my Fordham basketball gear on like I'm the ball boy like I was a few years ago. And let's jump right into it. You're watching The Sports Cycle. Welcome to the Sports Cycle, I'm Donnie Dwyer. Well, last year the Rams had a few tough games in the non-conference schedule, but it's nothing like this year. This year the Rams have to play the SEC, the ACC, the Big East, and a few Ivy League teams that are even in the top echelon of their conference. And so it's going to be a tough year and tough schedule, so let's start breaking down the schedule with November. The Rams open up their season on the road against the Bobcats of Texas State. Last year, the Rams beat them at the Rose Hill Gym. They won 81-70 thanks to Chris Gaston and his 35 points and 15 rebounds. One thing to note is Air Jamaica Joel McWright is on the Bobcats, so let's see if he has any revenge on the Rams. Then they hit the road on Monday, November 12th, as they play in the preseason NIT where Fordham travels to Pittsburgh to take on the Panthers. This Pittsburgh team should be better than last season. They had a record of 22-17 and 17 and expect to see a lot from senior leader Trey Woodall, who is all Big East player. The next day they will play the winner or loser of Robert Morris and Lehigh. Lehigh has a senior leader, C.J. McCollum, back, who upset Duke in the NCAA tournament last season. And Robert Morris finished third in the Northeastern Conference last season. And expect the Rams to see a lot of Vinton Jones in that matchup. The senior guard averaged 16 points per game last season. Last time the Rams played the Colonials was in December of 2007, and the Rams lost 72-66. Then on November 29th, the first home game, Battle of the Bronx against Manhattan. Last season, the Rams got destroyed by the Jaspers, 81-47 on the road in that matchup. Manhattan is projected to finish in the top of the MAC this season, and with senior George Beeman and his 18 points per game leading the troops this season, it will be a nice contest at the Rose Hill Gym this season. Now let's look at the December part of the schedule. On the first, they get back on the road and they play Harvard. Last year, the Rams upset the Crimson on January 3rd at the Rose Hill Gym by a score of 60-54. to Brian Smith had the big three late. And look for some revenge from senior Kyle Casey and the very good three-point shooting Crimson team. Then on December 4th, the Rams will travel to take on Lehigh and the Mountain Hawks. Last year, the Rams lost to them 78-60 at the Rose Hill Gym. This is an NCAA tournament team projected to win the Patriot League title again. So another nice road test for this squad in December. Then on December 8th, the game everyone loves to talk about. Fordham against St. John's at Madison Square Garden. Last year, the Rams fell to the Johnnies 56-50 in the Garden, even though St. John's only had six players in the rotation. Steve Lavin had a great offseason and will have new firepower in this continued rivalry in Manhattan. And on December 15th, the Rams will host Princeton at the brand new Billion Dollar Arena in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center. Last time the Rams played Princeton was in 2008 and they lost 73-61 to at the Rose Hill Gym. Get a chance to get a nice view of the Princeton offense against Fordham's maroon and white defense. Then on December 21st, another road matchup against the Big East team as they travel to UConn. No Coach Calhoun, but the Huskies are still a very good basketball team. Shabazz Napier is still on the team and is a dynamic scorer. Also, the Huskies rarely lose at the Harry A. Gample Pavilion in the non-conference. This should be an interesting game against another Big East foe. Then on December 23rd, second game at the Rose Hill Gym in the non-conference as they host Siena. Last year, they beat the Saints on the road 74-59 on a hot shooting night. Expect the Saints to be healthier and keep this game close into the final minutes. Odianowski is one of the best rebounders in the nation as he averages 12 a game. He should be a nice test with Chris Gaston. And then on December 29th, 
They played Georgia Tech on the road this season. Last year, they upset the Yellow Jackets in the Rose Hill Gym 72-66. Chris Gaston had 23 points, 17 rebounds in the win. But after a good offseason, Brian Gregory and his young, talented team will look to show the Rams what it's like to get beat on their home floor. Should be a nice battle in the South for Fordham. And on December 31st, New Year's Eve, the Rams host Monmouth. Everyone considered the Rams to beat the Hawks last season, but they ended up losing 80-65 in West Branch, New Jersey. The Hawks shot 46% from downtown, and senior Jesse Steele led the team with 18 points in the win. In the lone game in January, to wrap up the non-conference, Fordham plays another big conference in the SEC. The Rebels of Ole Miss finish 20-14 and 14 and have three returning seniors who are looking to make a difference in the SEC this season. This could be a statement game before the conference schedule begins. And the Rebels were ranked 25th in the nation in rebounding with 38 a game. So after breaking down the schedule, those games look tough, but they were going to look even tougher if the Rams didn't have Ryan Rooms in the center position this season. Yesterday, he was claimed eligible and will play against Texas State. We don't know the minutes, but it's a huge addition with Canty and Leonard in the post. So Fordham's going to need big things happening this year. The A-10 schedule is going to be tough. The non-conference schedule is also going to be tough. But this is going to be a test because Chris Gaston has a lot of leadership. He's definitely a proven player who can score 20 to 30 a night, put up 15 rebounds. But how are those guards going to play? If the guards can step up and play very mature basketball, I think the Fordham Rams can do very well this year. And especially Coach Bacora, I think he knows what he's doing. He's got Mandel Thomas. He's got Jermaine Myers. He's bringing in this guard-oriented team. When you add it with a Brian Smith, when you add it with a short, and you add it with a player like Devon Fatty McMillan, I think this team can be able to get to the next level when it comes to Christmas time and that A-10 season comes to play. So I think the Rams got to start with a win tonight, and then from then we got to use that momentum and get more wins down the stretch. So reporting from Nagani in Michigan, where I am the sports anchor, Donnie Dwyer, thesportscycle.com.